Hello everyone and welcome back to DC Central and in today's video I'm going to be doing one that I have been waiting to do for quite some time and it's a one that I've kind of forgot to do but I'm finally getting back around to doing it and that is my ranking of all of the arrow suits that Oliver Queen has worn throughout the entire show ranked from my least favourite to my favourite so let's discuss. So the reason why I've been waiting to do this video is because I made a ranking video for the Flash suit about nine months ago and I just was meant to do, I was intending on doing a Green Arrow suit ranking video to go alongside that and I just completely forgot and then it completely fell by the wayside and now it's nine months later. Uh, but, you know, I thought why not, let's go back to it, you know, it's never exactly too old to do this video, you know, Arrow's over now and it's, you know, only ever getting older so there's no real better time to do this video. So I thought, hey, why not, uh, let's not, uh, <laughs> why not, let's do it, can't speak today. Um, and just to address something as well, I know I feel like I constantly address things at the beginning of these videos. Um, obviously, I haven't been reviewing Batwoman recently, uh, and the reason for that is because I've just been struggling to find a way to actually watch it. Like, just FYI, as of recording this video, I've still only seen the pilot episode, or not the pilot, but the first episode. I've only seen the first episode of Batwoman Season 2, so the episode that I have reviewed is the only one I've seen. So I'm just struggling to actually watch the show right now, like finding a way to watch it because obviously here in the UK, it's not aired yet um, and I don't know when it's going to air or where it's going to air. So for me, like the reviews for the Arrowverse this season might be a bit sporadic and they may not necessarily be consistent um, and that is why. Um, so I do apologize for that, but I am planning on some other things for this channel and also other videos and other content and stuff like that to make up for that. So I'll, I'll let you all know that as and when it happens. But anyway, with all the PSAs out of the way, let's dive into the ranking of my favorite arrow suits ranked from my least favorite to my favorite. So coming in at the bottom of my list is the Season 7 suit. Now just as a full warning, I am being very specific and very picky with this ranking in the sense that I know a lot of you will think, well, this isn't going to be a big ranking because there's only three arrow suits. And technically, yes, there is. However, I have broken this down quite specifically, so you're going to see that as this list goes on. So first of all, the Season 7 suit, which is the same suit that Oliver wore in Season 5 and 6, uh, but with the exception being that he, in Season 7, doesn't wear the hood or the mask. So it's just Oliver wearing the suit with his head completely exposed, because obviously at this point, it's been outed to the world that Oliver is the Green Arrow, and he's now working for the SCPD. I expect them to ever go in this direction, and when I saw it for the first time, I didn't quite know how to feel about it. Uh, obviously, with Oliver's identity now being known to the public, it kind of made sense for him to kind of not have as much of a focus of concealing his identity, because he didn't need to. Um, and obviously he was now also at this point working with the SCPD, so it wasn't like he had to hide from the police or hide from anybody else. He was now basically a public figure and a public superhero uh, working alongside the government, which I thought was interesting. Uh, and I did actually quite enjoy that storyline, if you recall, from my reviews of Season 7. Uh, but the reason why I have this at the bottom is that it just does look a little weird. Despite the fact that there's a big part of me that really likes him having this uh, look and, you know, having his head exposed, because I always enjoy, like, unmasked characters and things like that, and that those kind of suit designs. Uh, especially if you see, like, superheroes just when they're not out in the field and they're just back at base and they have their masks off and stuff like that. I really like those looks. Um, but for me, this Season 7 suit, you know, having him have this look all the time when he's also out in the field is a little bizarre. And also, as a purely personal thing, and this literally means nothing, it's just something that I pick up upon, uh, my least favourite look for Oliver is when he has sort of very short hair and a short beard, and that is what he has in Season 7, uh, in the back half of Season 7 at least, um, and that obviously goes with this suit. So for me, it's just my least favourite look for Oliver overall when he's the Green Arrow, is when he is in this suit um, without the hood and the mask. Even though I love the suit, like I love this suit. Uh, you'll see where, you know, the variations of this suit land on this list. But I love, love, love this suit. Um, it's just with this particular design, it is a little bit iffy and a little bit weird. And also because of Oliver's uh, hairstyle and beard, uh, it's just not my personal favourite. Nothing against it, it's just not my personal favourite. So I have it at the bottom of this list.
Next up, we have the Season 2 to 3 suit. And this is, of course, the original suit that he has in Season 1, but now with the addition of the eye mask. Now, this is obviously a very iconic suit. This is kind of the suit that really kicked off Oliver as a superhero, um, and less so a vigilante. And this suit is great. You know, I have such a soft spot for this suit. I have such a, you know, nostalgia for this suit. It is the original. It is, uh, you know, what when I fell in love with Arrow, this was the suit that Oliver had. Um, and it's just beautiful. And also with the addition of the eye, ma uh, eye mask, which came, you know, courtesy of Barry Allen, um, it does very much make it like a superhero-esque suit and kind of took Arrow. It was kind of the first step that the Arrow suit took from being a grounded vigilante superhero suit to an actual comic book superhero suit it was kind of that first little step before we got to the actual proper superhero suit so it's a nice little step up and again this suit is just so iconic i love the groundedness of it i love how it is just like a track like a track suit zip up uh leather jacket with uh, the leather pants and stuff and the hood is kind of all rugged it's kind of like a separate piece it's not really connected to the suit it's kind of like just stitched on in a way so again it feels grounded it feels like oliver actually kind of made it even though he didn't make it per se obviously it was gifted to him uh in in russia um but it looks like it was made and stitched together by a real person not like it was just fabricated as a superhero suit like a lot of the other suits do that is the original season one suit and i again just have so much love and nostalgia i can't really say much more for this suit than i didn't say for the original uh from what i originally said about the season two and three suit uh, obviously this is the exact same suit as that but it does have there's no eye mask it's the eye makeup like the uh, eye grease uh grease paint and this I like just a little bit more because, again, um, you guys know my favorite season of Arrow is season one, and that was where I fell in love with the show. And I, the reason why I love season one so much is, as much as I adore the Arrowverse and I love all of that stuff that Arrow created, I love Arrow when it's grounded. And for me, this suit just is the perfect personification of that. It's just such a streamlined suit. Again, it looks practical, it looks real, it looks like it was actually made by a person, it looks like it was actually crafted by a vigilante for him to go out at night with real like materials and stuff like that and then the grease paint is just that extra level of grittiness and groundedness that i really like in my superhero media content and it just really works for me um seeing him kind of put that on you know even we, we have many scenes in season one where oliver takes off his hood and we see him just with the eye makeup and stuff and it, it looks rugged and it looks awesome and i think Stephen amell really pulls it off um so for me the season one suit again i can't say much more about this suit than i already have uh, in the last spot but i just love it and again i do prefer it with the grease paint just a little bit more like when we got it in season six and they actually brought it back for that one episode um it was i just loved it i thought it was awesome and again i have so much nostalgia for this suit season one is my favorite season so it makes sense that this suit would be uh, one that i have a lot of fond memories with Bringing us into the top three is the Season 8 suit. And when they said that they were going to be giving Oliver a new suit for Season 8, I was a little bit scared because I just love the previous suit design um, so, so much. And I didn't know how they were going to really improve upon that one. Uh, but the Season 8 suit, God, it's gorgeous. And honestly, on a particular day, I could like this suit as my favourite. I just love this suit so, so much. I mean, to be honest, on any particular day, these suits can all swap around. But the Season 8 suit is just the perfect combination of the original suit and like the season five suit it's it's the perfect combination of the two and it just is so streamlined it's sexy it's beautiful it fits steven incredibly it looks great because it has that awesome combination of feeling grounded and feeling real while also being superhero-esque and fantastical again it's that perfect blend of the two and it just looks awesome it looks so great it works so well in pictures it looks so well on screen it looks great in action you know when you have those moments where steven is just in the suit standing around or in action in fight scenes it just looks amazing and i just love this look like i love it completely um and also you know i mentioned when i talk about the season seven suit how i wasn't a lover of oliver's look in that season Oliver's look in season 8, I absolutely love. Like the slightly longer hair and the scruffier beard, um, kind of like what he has in season 6 as well, is my absolute favourite peak Oliver Queen look for, the, for this version of Oliver Queen. I love him in, in that particular look, and that's what he has with season 8. Um, like, you know, there's many scenes in like season 8, episode 2, where he's just uh, hanging around with Diggle in the suit without the hood on, and we just see him with that long hair and the beard. I just love it. So, I just absolutely adore the season 8 suit, I think it's incredible, and when they revealed it for the first time, I was absolutely in awe, like they, 
you know, I, I have a lot of things to say about Season 8, everyone knows this, but one thing I cannot criticise Season 8 for is its suit designs. Both this suit, uh, Diggle's new suit, and Laurel's new suit were all absolutely phenomenal, and some of the best suits the, the, the team have come up with. And I just thought that this suit, you know, as a final suit we got for the final season, and as a beautiful sort of send-off for the show, I couldn't have asked for anything better than this, really. My runner-up, though, and this is definitely going to be a controversial pick, I think, uh, is the Season 4 suit. Uh, this might be the only time Season 4 has gotten this high on any arrow, on anybody's Arrow ranking. Um, but the Season 4 suit, I love it. I think it's so good. I know a lot of people don't like the cheesy sleeves and stuff, how he doesn't have the sleeves. I actually really like it. I think it's really cool. It really works for me. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just the, the exposed arms. I mean, I understand why they changed it, obviously, because they film in Vancouver. It's freezing. I understand why they changed it, but I just think the exposed arms, I don't know what it is about it. It just, that particular look, that particular design, it just really looks great. And it shows, like, Oliver's strength. It shows, you know, you can kind of see him sort of working as he's fighting. It just really works for me. Like, it works on a level that some of the other suits don't. And I get that it's a little bit cheesy, but I just think it really helped as well to demonstrate Arrow's sort of turn here. Because Season 4 was the season that Arrow really started to turn from a vigilante show into a superhero show. And I think that this suit really represents that. Because um, again, it's that upgraded suit that Cisco made. It is like an actual superhero suit. But it still looks great when just on the streets of Star City. It looks phenomenal. And I just thought it looked so great. And, I mean, I will admit, it's not perfect. Like, there are certain shots it can look a little goofy. But for the most part, for me personally, the suit completely worked. And again, it might be a controversial pick to have this suit so high up. But I can't lie. I think the suit's phenomenal. And I think it's really great. And it's only outmatched by one other. So, of course, that leaves us with my personal favourite suit in the history of Arrow, which is the Season 5 and Season 6 suit, which is the upgraded version of the previous pick. Uh, so, it's exactly the same suit as the Season 4 one, but it does have the additional sleeves. This suit, in my opinion, is perfection. I mean, I know I've said that before I said it about the Season 8 suit, um, and to be honest, I still stand by that. But the Season 5 and Season 6 suit, it's just beautiful. And again, it really represents that transition that Arrow had from being a vigilante show to being a superhero show. This is Oliver now accepting the fact that he is a superhero now in this superhero world. He's no longer just this vigilante, this crime fighter in Star City. Uh, he's now a part of a large universe and a hero in a larger multiverse. And he's also a leader among these heroes um, who people look up to. You know, Flash looks to him, Supergirl looks to him to lead uh, in these big events because... They trust him. He is this big superhero. He's the original one. And I think that's really cool. And this kind of represents that transition, which I really love. And this suit, I think no matter which way you look at it, no matter what photo it is, no matter what clip it is, no matter what action scene it's in, it always looks phenomenal. And I think this really comes to face when you look at the daylight scenes. And Arrow doesn't really get this luxury a lot because a lot of it is filmed at night, particularly when Oliver actually goes out to fight in his suits. It's normally in the dark. But... You know, when you look in like the season 5 finale, which completely takes place in the day and he's in his suit, you just see the incredible detail on it in the daylight and it looks phenomenal. And then also in the Crisis on Earth X crossover, when you see him fighting the Earth X heroes at the end, again, in the daylight, amazing stuff. Uh, this suit just really reflects well in the daylight. And then in the nighttime, it also just looks solid. It looks incredible. And I think, again, it's just that perfect transition. Even though I love my groundedness of Arrow, I love all that stuff. And obviously, I love the grounded suit. I honestly, for me, if I didn't know anything about myself, I didn't know anything about Arrow, I would have predicted that this a suit like this would be towards the bottom of my list. But it's just perfect for me. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. It looks great on Steven, no matter what look he has throughout it. And I just think that this particular suit, it looks heavy duty, it looks tough, and it makes, like, when I think of Oliver, like, when I think of the Green Arrow from the Arrowverse, this is the suit I think of. Um, this is, for me, the most iconic suit of the show. Um, and it's the one that always sticks with me, the one that always stays in my brain. Like, like I say, when I think of Green Arrow, I think of this suit. And I think that says it all. So for me, my number one suit, my favorite suit in the history of Arrow is definitely easily the season five, season six upgraded suit.
So there you have it guys, there's my ranking of all of the arrow suits from my least favorite to my favorite. I know this video was very late and again a bit weird and very specific, but again, that's the kind of weird stuff we love to do on this channel. You know, we like to be really specific in these DC videos and that's what I wanted to do. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, I know it was very late, but I hope it was worth it. And also, if you want to see more content like this, more DC content, Arrowverse content and everything else in between, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. And make sure you also hit that notification bell on your way out so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I hope to see you guys again next time.